So we're going to first of all bring in, let's bring in for this example an icosphere. So um, Shift A brings up your, your add menu and we're going to go to mesh. Uh, let, let's bring up the, yeah, the icosphere. It should be instructional. You're in, you're in object mode now. And uh, notice how I can zoom my mouse. Um, that's if you want to change that. I'll just throw this little tidbit in there. That's in the user preferences uh, uh, interface. And then I got zoom to mouse position. That's the way I like it. Okay. So now we're in we're in object mode. Let's tab into edit mode. And um, <clears throat> now we've got the vertexes and the faces and the edges all showing. I'm going to hit A to unselect. Um, now here's some interesting information up here at the top. Uh, VE, ED, and FA. Uh, these are vertexes, these are edges, and these are faces. And this is the unit, that the, the object. Um, you'll see uh, VE is 0 42. That means the 0 is selected out of 42 total of the echo sphere. The edge is 0 of 120. The face is 0 of 80. Um, let's go down here to the bottom. You got the vertex select, the edge select, and face select. Let's go to face select. You now have the little dots on the faces. Uh, right click. Okay, now it shows you that uh, one face out of 80 is selected. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select this uh, region of faces. And a region is a continuous area. Um, and over here on the left, you got under the add, you've got extrude region and extrude individual. Um, now, in the other blenders, you would hit E, and it would come up with a menu. In 2.5, if you hit E, it will extrude region, and this will stay as a region. So I'm going to hit E. Well, you can also hit this over here on the left, extrude region, but I'm going to hit E. Okay, and now um, you can see it extruded the entire region together. None of these edges were separated. And that is extrude region. I'm going to Command Z, undo it. And now I'm going to do this. You can do this either way. See when you bring the mouse over extrude individual, see it says shortcut Shift E. So to extrude individual, and what extrude individual means is you're going to extrude each of these faces from its normal. The normal is the perpendicular point or line to the face. So that's, uh, that's the normal. And we're going to extrude them to the normals now because we chose, or we're going to choose extrude individual. I'm going to do the shortcut key shift E and now Notice how, and then I'm going to left click to lock it. Now notice how individual faces extruded on their own, like they didn't care about the other guys. Um, they didn't care about the region. They just cared about themselves. And um, they, they extruded on their normals. So that's the two types of extrusion you got. Individual and region. All right, now let's hit tab. I'm going with this selected. I'm going to hit X and delete the object. I'm going to hit three to go into uh, the right side view. And now I'm going to show another uh, little tip on extruding that I learned from Andrew, Andrew Price on his uh, um, praying mantis uh, tutorial on how to make a praying mantis. I thought this was pretty neat. I actually had to go over this part a couple times because he went over it kind of fast and I didn't catch it the first time. So um, we're going to again shift A and we're going to add a cube 
this time. All right, and then we're going to tab into edit mode and um, okay I'm going to hit A to unselect everything and I'm going to come down here to edge mode and the reason I told you about this up here is because it's going to make sense uh, and give you information on this little uh, exercise we're doing so let's say I want to extrude this but let's say I'm making an, an arm and I'm going to subdivide this later and I want to go kind of in this angle I want to go to a curve to the left okay so I'm in edge mode and I'm going to select all four edges okay I've now got this face highlighted selected and I'm going to hit E for extrude and I'm going to not move the mouse I'm going to hit escape okay so now what we've got here is we've got double faces or excuse me yeah double face and we've also got double edges and double vertex right there even though we didn't move it it was created but it wasn't extruded it wasn't pulled out so it's really just sitting on top of each other select that one face excuse me that one edge and then grab it and then notice how I'm just pulling up this one this one and this edge and these two edges there's two edges here are left um, by themselves and if you notice there's a, a little artifact in here um, that's um, something somebody noticed but it's no big deal all right so um, now Let's say, for example, now remember we got a ver extra vertice here, and vertice and an extra vertice here. Now let's say we want to continue with this this arm that we're going to subserve for a tube or whatever, and we're going to continue in this direction. I'm going to go down to face, select just to make it easier now, and then select this face, extrude it. Okay, and then I'm going to hit A to unselect go to edge and then um, I'm going to uh, collect all the edges, select them again. I'm going to hit ex E for extrude and escape to, to, to stop the, the movement. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to just right click close to this edge and then um, I'm going to grab it with G and there we go. Now we're, you can see we're starting to go up off to the left. Okay, now we've still got a double edge here, so and a double edge down here. So look up here at the top. First of all, hit A to unselect everything, just to make it easier to understand. Okay, I've got. Um, let's go down here and select vertices. So the vertice vertice number also shows up here. I've got 20 vertices, 36 edges, and 18 faces. Okay, hit A to select everything, and come over here and hit um, under remove. Hit remove doubles. Now remember, we got 20 vertices. Remove doubles. Bam. Uh, removed four vertices because we had two extra here and two extra here. And it removed four, so we now have got 16. And 16 of 16 are selected. So that way you don't have double vertices because if you went in later and did a, a subsurface, you would have some weird uh, stuff going on. So now we can do the subsurf subdivision, uh, and you'll see that you have the makings of an arm, uh, even though it's it's not very much going in one direction it's starting to anyway that was a short little tutorial on extruding and removing uh, extruding regions extruding individuals and extruding and, and then grabbing that face to, to make like a, a bend at the one location then going back and removing the uh, extra vertices hope you learned something and 
subscribe.